the single responsibility principle states, a class should have one and only one reason to change, meaning that a class should have only one job. For example, consider an application that takes a collection of shapes, circles, and squares, and calculates the sum of the area of all the shapes in the collection. First, create the shape classes and have the constructors set up the required parameters. For squares, you will need to know the length of a side. For circles, you will need to know the radius. Next, create the area calculator class and then write up the logic to sum up the areas of all provided shapes. The area of a square is calculated by length squared. The area of a circle is calculated by pi times radius squared. To use the area calculator class, you will need to instantiate the class and pass in an array of shapes and display the output at the bottom of the page. Here is an example with a collection of three shapes. A circle with a radius of 2. A square with a length of 5. A second square with a length of 6. The problem with the output method is that the area calculator handles the logic to output the data. Consider a scenario where the output should be converted to another format like JSON. All of the logic would be handled by the area calculator class. This would violate the single responsibility principle. The area calculator class should only be concerned with the sum of the areas of provided shapes. It should not care whether the user wants JSON or HTML. To address this, you can create a separate sum calculator output a class and use that new class to handle the logic you need to output the data to the user. The sum calculator output a class would work like this. Now, the logic you need to output the data to the user is handled by the sum calculator output a class. That satisfies the single responsibility principle.